Well, what, what, what makes what, what do you what do you that, think you know? AB? What do you think AB makes Tom so good? What makes him the greatest Bro, quarterback? Listen, you, like listen, we talking about principles. Now you talking about what make Tom so good? Yeah. Tom can't do nothing by himself. A Brady friend, Brady can't do shit by himself. But you guys gonna make it seem like he just is horror guy. I thought we were done with all the Antonio Brown information. I thought that the story was closed. Bruce Arians came out and gave his statement on the situation and Antonio Brown finally got released. But right when we thought we were done, there's information coming out from a toilet seat licking OnlyFans model that gives us an inside scope to what her and AB were doing the night before the outburst and then Right as I was getting to work and compiling the data and information to create this video, we got this incredible podcast from Bob Menery and company called the Full Send Podcast. Make sure you go listen to it because it's insane where Antonio Brown literally goes after Tom Brady. So before we get to the content, we're less than 100 followers away on Instagram from hitting 50K followers. Once we hit that, we're giving away $500 to any follower on IG. And we're also giving away $500 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. Now that we got all that out of the way, break. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Guys, I'm gonna give you a brief disclaimer before we jump into this. There's a lot of content to get to. This video is definitely gonna get demonetized, and the only reason I care about that isn't because I'm not gonna get paid, because I really can care less about that, but if YouTube can't make money off of my content, they're not gonna recommend it, but usually YouTube recommends content if it has a lot of likes, so take a moment to like this video because this OnlyFans model is definitely going to screw us over here. Check this out because we have a lot of fact-checking to do. Apparently, a toilet seat licking OnlyFans model by the name of Ava Louise and the reason why I'm saying this is she is most famous and literally blew up because the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic she posted a TikTok of her licking a toilet seat and called it the coronavirus challenge ironically speaking she would then go ahead and post this picture of a positive COVID test after hooking up with Antonio Brown saying at Buccaneers test your team now I know what you guys might be thinking Mike how do we know that this woman is being legit how do we know that she's not another one of those clout demon OnlyFans models that are just trying to mooch and siphon clout from Antonio Brown because Antonio Brown has been, I don't know, a content goldmine lately. Well, here's the thing. She actually provides receipts of their encounter. So for those of you guys that don't know what the story is, apparently the very night before Antonio Brown had his outburst at MetLife Stadium where he stripped off his jersey, chucked the deuces, and ran off during the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game versus the New York Jets, he snuck in this OnlyFans model into his hotel room, which is against the rules. Now, athletes do this all the time. We actually have a story on the Flight Mike channel where Neil House actually did that during the NBA bubble, but we cover NFL news on microphone. We do NBA news on the Flight Mike, and so I digress on that information. It's just very common for athletes to do this type of stuff, especially if they don't really care about the coronavirus pandemic. Now, according to Ava Luis, Antonio Brown left a bunch of voice memos for her where, she was, where he sounded drunk out of his mind and really made the aggressive push on Saturday night to invite her over and hear the screenshots. It starts on December 31st with the message AB. Ava Louise says, hi, what's up? And AB asks her if she's in NYC, which Louise responds, I am. And where is he at? AB then texts her saying he's at the West in New Jersey. Ava Louise says, where is that? And then AB sends his location. Ava says, you're close to me and she's going out with friends, but he's 10 minutes away from where she is and she's interested in getting together. Antonio Brown sends some cringe, come put me to bed, gotta be up early, Bay. Now, the important part as you're reading these messages is we have to determine whether or not this is actually how Antonio Brown texts. And we've seen AB messages before. Now, there's a little back and forth where Antonio Brown explains that, hey, I have a game tomorrow. Pretty much tell your friends that you need to come see me first. They try. They have a little back and forth about how they could get together where Ava Louise says, what are you doing tomorrow night? And AB says, I'm out of here after the game. Ironically, that's not what would end up happening now, would it? Ava says next time, AB says cap. Ava says you should have let me know earlier and AB just says just stay off of IG. 
Ava says, why are you being like this? And Antonio Brown says, just wanted to see you. You've been all talk online. Way to spit that game, AB. Ava then says, I want to see you, but it has to be later. Antonio Brown says, come baby, I'm gonna be ready for you. Then AB apparently sends her a voicemail and asks her, am I gonna see you? Ava says, what did you say in that voicemail? I could come at like one probably, maybe earlier. Let me figure it out. Are you in Jersey City? AB then says, yes, baby, come here, get this bonus. And then Ava says, I can come at like 11.30. AB says, I'm ready for you, lovely. And Ava says, you're lucky my friends are letting me leave. To which AB responds, tell them you in great hands. She then gets there and says, where should I go? AB says, I'm in 611 Bay. Daddy got to get you in here where Bay at. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just, I, I, I'm sorry. W whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the game is a little, the game's a little cringe for my taste with all due respect. Ava then says, lobby, I'm sure I can get in the elevator. I'll come to the sixth in elevator. Now you might be thinking, all right, this seems a little sketchy. We've seen Antonio Brown text before. I don't really know if this is the manner in which he usually texts, but get this, Ava, also went the extra mile here. She posted a picture of the Westin Jersey City Newport, where it says second floor training skills, third floor meal room recovery quarterback. So this is clearly instructions for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. She even went even further and posted this picture of the back of Antonio Brown's head as they were sleeping, which you could, if you cross-reference this picture with the video of Antonio Brown leaving MetLife Stadium, you could tell it's kind of a similar haircut. Now, apparently Antonio Brown wanted Ava Louise to record themselves sleeping together, which I think goes against probably every single thing that you should do as an athlete, I guess, unless if you're trying to chase. So here's where things get a little weird. Ava meets up with Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown apparently begins ranting about BS COVID rules and, and fuck the NFL. And he would say weird stuff like, you don't even know my crazy right now. You don't know my crazy right now. According to her, they then proceeded to film a sex tape in which she claims Antonio Brown lasted a mere 30 seconds. When we had sex, he wanted to film it and make a tape on my phone. He wanted me to put it out there. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I really believe that part. I feel like some of this stuff could be true and she might be stretching the extra truth just so she could get some clout out, out of it. Because if you're an OnlyFans model and a star player in the NFL is like, oh, let's film each other sleeping with each other. Isn't that like a golden content opportunity for you? Like, I'm just saying I'm not really in this industry. It's not really my forte or my niche, but that sounds like gold content if you are in that lane. Now, after Afterwards, Ava would post this screenshot saying, baby, why are you running off the field? Antonio Brown says, you see me? She goes, yes, I saw, but why? You look sexy doing it. And then AB says, you saw me, baby. And then she goes, why'd you do that? And the answer is obvious because he's a super gremlin. Look, there's also a bunch of screenshots from before that Ava posted of them first DMing each other in 2018. I don't want this part of the video to get too long because I think the Tom Brady portion of this video where AB attacks Tom Brady is way more important here. So I'm gonna post those screenshots if you're interested in seeing them onto my Instagram story. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this part of the video is plausible. Do you believe Ava Louise? Do you think this all went down or do you think she's just another clout demon OnlyFans model that is just trying to siphon clout off of a trending topic like Antonio Brown? Now Antonio Brown went on to the Full Send podcast and there's one very trending clip. If, if Tom Brady's my boy, why am I playing for an earnest salary? Right. You my boy though, right? Right. Gronkowski is boy, right? Right. How much do he get paid? Significant amount. Damn. All right, so so why is AB on a prove it deal? Who's better than me over there? Let's be real. Right, but don't no, you... No, 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 let's not not be right. Let's be honest. No, I'll this be is the podcast I'll be real. to be real. No, I'll be real. Who is AB the is. best guy over there? AB. Since you guys know football, who for is sure, it? For sure, for sure, Who's AB. the best guy over on that team? No, Play AB. football, receiver-wise, who is it's the AB. guy that get it popping? It's I AB. mean, I think it's a combination of all you guys. I think it was AB. It's a combination now. Nah. Dude, just, nah, I, I, I've always... So Antonio Brown is claiming that Tom Brady and him aren't truly friends. Tom Brady is just using him because he's a talented wide receiver. If Tom Brady was actually 
actually his friend, then why is Antonio Brown playing for such a minuscule amount of money? And the answer to that is very simple. For a guy who always has business as booming and claims that he is business savvy, it's very clear that if your value is at an all time low, which at the time that Antonio Brown was signed to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, no one wanted him. This is when he was coming off of one of the worst off the field issues that we've seen in quite some time involving him and some really just horrific allegations with another woman where text messages were also shown. No team wanted to give this man a chance. Tom Brady went out to bat for him. Yeah, he signed a prove a deal. Yeah, it's an incentive based contract, but also other people got an incentive based contract. Why does Rob Gronkowski get $8 million? Well, I assume that is value to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a run blocking tight end. That's also been Tom Brady's all reliable target for the past 10 years was significantly higher than Antonio Brown that was going to come in and be an extremely high-end wide receiver three. Mike Evans is the wide receiver one on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Chris Godwin was franchise tagged and got paid a maximum contract. Is Tom Brady only interested in Antonio Brown because he's talented? Yes, man, that's how business works. Does that make Tom Brady a bad person? No, because it was a mutually beneficial relationship between Tom Brady and Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown had a lane back into the NFL, had a team that gave him another opportunity opportunity, won a Super Bowl, and got to team up with the only quarterback that seemed to still believe in him. Tom Brady got another valuable weapon and got the best out of that valuable weapon for a limited amount of time. AB was upset that Tom Brady quote unquote didn't have his back, but in my opinion, I think Tom Brady extended the greatest kindness to Antonio Brown that he possibly could. The reason why Antonio Brown was on a prove it deal at the end of the day was because he did have to prove himself. And honestly, I was always under the impression that he was going to prove himself and then sign a nice contract contract somewhere else at the end of the season. But because of this outburst towards the end of the season, once again, Antonio Brown cost himself millions of dollars. And if you look at the other aspects of his career, this has been a recurring theme in Antonio Brown's career. When Antonio Brown was traded to the Las Vegas Raiders, he received a three year, $50 million contract extension. Since he acted out and didn't buy in and made things all about him. And if this report from Ava Luis is also true, clearly he just loves chasing controversy, he lost himself a ton of money. As a result of getting a $50 million contract, he ended up signing a prove-it deal with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a year and a half later. And that's his fault at the end of the day. Obviously, the Full Send podcast isn't going to say this to his face because, well, they got him as a guest. At the same time, whenever you get yourself a guest on the podcast, yeah, you do want to extract controversial moments from, the, uh, from him, which credits to the Full Send podcast. They did a wonderful job at that. That, but at the same time, you want to make sure that he feels comfortable on the seat. Credit to the one guy that said that he didn't feel like Antonio Brown was the best wide receiver on the team. He's had the greatest career on the team and is probably the most respected wide receiver on the team. But in terms of output and production, both Chris Godwin and Mike Evans outproduced for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers during Antonio Brown's time there. Brady can't do shit by himself. But you guys gonna make it seem like he just is horror guy. So you don't think he helped you at all, Brady? <laughs> How'd he help me? What he helped my career to come back? No, because like they helped you him. stay at his house and shit. And bro, stay at his house. I got my own money, bro. I like, you guys I, know who I, I am? I, I, I like the the fact. I don't this need to too. stay at no one's house. I got my own houses. Guys do that to influence you guys in the public. He's like, oh, he's at he's at Tom house. Then he's maybe a good guy. Right, right, right. But I thought I was a good guy. I was a great football player. That's why you guys know me, right? Team Somehow shit. I'm always the guy under the scrutiny. It's always my fault. Yeah, but not no. No, maybe that long. Oh, absolutely Listen, not. I don't need no pity party from none of you guys. It is what it is. How I feel, I'm not having you guys dictate my position. 100%. How I feel, how I feel. I'm not here. I'm here to break bread with you guys and like kumbaya. I really think this last part is really sad because he's not giving credit to someone that actually had faith in him during a very low point of his career. It seems like he doesn't want to give credit to Tom Brady, bringing him in, letting him stay at his house, and is claiming that it wasn't that big of a deal and he had his own money. I honestly think he kind of comes off as incoherent at specific points of this podcast, and towards the end, he tries to play the victim here. But here's the problem, and I always say this. I was trying to see a B side on a lot of this, but at a specific point when you go to Pittsburgh and you don't show up for the final week of your game with the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Steelers eventually say, okay, you're a really talented wide receiver, but we can't do this anymore. We're trading you to the Raiders. Then you go to the Raiders and then they give you this huge contract. John Gruden believes in you, but there is a bunch of controversy regarding your frostbitten feet, not wearing the right helmet and eventually getting into it with the general manager of the Raiders, which results in the Raiders 
is releasing you. Then you go to the Patriots and after a one week, there was way too many off the field issues for Bill Belichick to keep you around. And then you get cut there as well. Now you go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the only person that believed in you and did everything that he possibly could to make sure you're successful gets thrown under the bus by you after you decide to quit on the team because apparently, according to you, you claim that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers forced you to play on an injured ankle, which at that point, I really can't take a side with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or Antonio Brown because that's he said, she said. But what I could do is criticize Antonio Brown for at least not appreciating the fact that Tom Brady gave him an opportunity and didn't give up on him when every single other team seemed to have given up on him. And bear in mind, I'm not even a Tom Brady fan. I'm just saying I think credit needs to be given where credit is due. And it's unfortunate that Antonio Brown is taking this route with not only playing victim, but throwing those that believed in him under the bus. But that's my take on the matter, man. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you agree with what Antonio Brown is saying here? Do you think what happened with him and Ava Luis is true? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.